Here's the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. Here's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were all. One day when the lady met this fellow And they knew that it was much more than a hunt That this group must somehow form a family That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch That's the way we became the Brady Bunch I had a good time last night. Oh, Mike, I did too. Cindy, why the long face? Well, honey, are you all right? Some boy at school told me that there was no Santa Claus. Oh, Cindy, you poor thing. Don't worry, Cindy. We'll figure this out together. I think it's time to have a Brady family meeting. Oh, Mike. Hey, kids, come on down here. Oh, Dad, I don't want to be a bother. Now, now, Cindy, don't worry. You have a problem. You don't believe in Santa Claus. It's up to us to fix this problem. Oh, Mike. I think I'll go for a walk outside now. Yeah, Mom and Dad, what's up? The sky, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what's wrong? Yeah, what's the matter? Is somebody dying? Are you two getting divorced? All right, all right, wait a minute. Cindy has a little problem. Some kid at school told her that there is no Santa Claus. Can you believe that, kids? <laughs> what, no Santa Claus? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. You can't believe that, kid. Yeah, who do you think brought you that swell slinky toy last Christmas? Of course there's a Santa Claus. Gee, I don't know. Hello, Brady family. Hi, Alice. I just went to the market, and I'll start dinner in just a... Oh, Cindy. Are you all right? Alice, one of Cindy's classmates told her the Santa Claus does not exist. Oh, Cindy, you poor thing. I'm going to my room. Hey, Bobby, what are you writing? Hey, is that a love letter? <laughs> No, it's a letter to Santa Claus. I want him to come to our house and show Cindy he's real. Oh yeah, and Mom always said, don't play ball in the house. It'll be okay, Cindy. So what if there's no Santa Claus? Jan, what are you saying? Of course there's a Santa Claus. Don't be so insensitive. Marsha, 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 I hate you. Sweetie, how you doing? I'm all right. I just wish there was a Santa. Well, you know, honey, there is a Santa if you believe in him. Well, you know what they say. Seeing is believing.
Hello. Oh, hi, Alice. Yeah, let me get them for you. Sam, it's for you. I'll be right there. Hello. Hi, Sam. Oh, hey, Alice. I was just slicing some roast beef for my favorite girl. Ah, uh, thanks, Sam. Listen, we have an emergency. Cindy stopped believing in Santa Claus. What? That's terrible. Do you still have that Santa suit from your work Christmas party? Um, yeah, it's still in the trunk of my car. Great. Well, how about you come over to the Brady's after work, dressed as Santa, and make her believe again? Alice, my girl, that's a swell idea. We're closing up now, so I should be there in a little while. Oh, Sam, you are my meat man in shining armor. Hi, ah, Alice. Anything for my favorite rump roast. Oh, Sam. Hey, Mika, I got a list here for my mom. Sorry, little girl. We're closing early for Christmas Eve. I need a pound of turkey breast, a pound of ham, a half pound of chicken breast, three pounds of roast beef, two pounds of macaroni salad, and a pound of Swiss cheese. Sorry, but I'm in kind of a hurry. And listen, I need all the meat and cheese, one and an eighth inch thick. Got that? Fine, just give me a few minutes. Have a seat. I hear you doubted that I existed. I didn't know what to think, Sienna. There was a boy in my class that said you were make-believe. I heard. By any chance, was that boy's name Kevin Coyne? <laughs> yes, it was, Sienna. How did you know? Oh, Cindy, I know what all you kids are doing. And let me tell you something. That Coyne kid is nothing but a no-good, naughty son of a... gun. <laughs> he gets cold every year. Wow, Allison, Sam's doing a really great job. How did Sam know about Cindy's classmate? Beats me, but it must be working. Look at the smile on Cindy's face. I know. Well, Cindy, it is Christmas Eve, and I do have a big night ahead of me tonight. Well, I understand, Sienna. But before I go, just remember that as long as children like yourself and Greg, and Marsha, and Peter, and Jan, and Bobby. As long as all you kids are nice and continue to believe in me, there will always be a Santa Claus. Ho, 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 I must be going. So long, Brady family. I'll be back tonight when you're fast asleep. Bye, Santa! Merry Christmas! Santa, Santa! Thanks for coming, Santa. No, no, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you for the letter you mailed me. You know, there's nothing sadder than a child not believing in Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing back here? Back here? I just got here. Well, if you just got here, then who was that that was just here dressed as Santa Claus? Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! Yeah.